Hey guys, Rick Seitz here with Thomas Muscle Magazine. I'm actually at the David Ed's uh, swap meet here in Campbell Hove, in Campbell Fairgrounds. Um, there's a lot of cars to see, a lot of uh, parts uh, for sale, obviously on the second hand market. It's basically a swap meet. Um, there are a lot of, uh, just, about, just about everything's here. So uh, whatever you want to, whatever you need for your project car, project build, it's pretty much here. I'm going to flip this around so you can see. So here we go. The 71 Monte Carlo. It's an interesting uh, 77 Trans Am. It looks like it's about to rain, so a lot of people are kind of covering their cars up. Well, I thought it was going to be a good little mud field. But there's just about everything here you want. A lot of good deals, too. A lot of uh, like budget build cars, like this Torino right here is 12.5. And there's some other stuff here, about three, four, five grand you can get. Like there's a couple LT1 Corvettes here, uh, 90 stuff that's uh, super cheap. So I'll take it to some more of the uh, older cars. Let the audience build up here a little bit. In the meantime, while I'm walking back here, why don't you guys tell me what you're working on right now? Camaros, Trans Ams, Mustangs, Chevelles. Clean second gen Camaro. Check this out. C28, 74, 350. Four speed car. A lot of Buicks. There's a lot of Buicks here today, actually. Old Rivieras, okay. Skylarks. We saw a 72 uh, Skylark convertible here earlier. 69 Camaro convertible. It's a project car. I look at this earlier. It's a 327 car, no transmission in it. Um, they're asking 16.5. It's obviously a restoration project. <laughs> Body work, obviously, you can make something out of it. Check that out. Little homegrown, little rat rod, hot rod here. Yeah. All right, I'll meet you there in a minute. Yeah, it was busy earlier when we got first got here, but uh, it seems like the uh, overcast sky has kind of kept some people away. The clean second gen Camaro. A few trucks, three truck guys. This thing's actually really sharp. I'll show you this truck. The uh, guy I was here talking earlier saying that the motor was knocking. He was asking 11.5. Now it's down to 9,500. It's a Tennessee truck. A little small block. Elder Brock heads on it. The aluminum intake. Uh, but it has some motor issues, I guess. Same guy selling this one. GMC. Then we got the second gen Z28. This one. Please. 79 four speed, 60,000 miles, 12,000 best off. A one owner car. Queen C3 Corvette. G body El Camino. What color is the one you got? I see you driving it. I never knew that. I thought it had a Lincoln. 64 Chevelle four door. 14,000 original miles, six cylinder car, but you don't even see anymore. Four door to boot. Just under five grand, you can score this, take it home, drop a small block in it, enjoy it, as a way, enjoy it the way it is, drop LS motor in it, do whatever you want with it basically. Second gen Trans Am. So this is a 79, I want to say it's a 79 Trans Am. 7981 look very similar. They're asking seven grand for this one. There we go. 80 Trans Am. It's got a 355 Chevy crate motor in it. 350 Auto, four wheel disc. So if it's a factory four wheel disc card, it's WS6. Um, also a swap later on. The paint says it's new. Looks relatively new. They're asking 7500 for it. It's missing a shaker scoop. Probably doesn't fit with the uh, small block Chevy in it. 
But again, seven grand. Get you to a second gen trans. You can do some haggling before I get it cheaper. These are actually taken off. Pro luxury, as my friends call them. This uh, Colonnade 7677 Cutlass. These are actually among the best selling cars for 7677. They're actually hugely popular when they were new. Check that out. You don't even see these cars anymore, at least not in the Midwest, especially not in Ohio. Most of these cars rotted out back in the day already. It's a 77. That's a solid cruiser. Let's see what else we have. Five. This is our post wagon. Well, my, truck, my truck says Tennessee on the license plate. I bought it in Maryland and they give these the guy gave There's a clean little cutlass over. I want to check this thing out. So, what are you guys building right now? Tell me, tell me what you guys are uh, working on this summer. I know we're, we're getting down to the wire. Summertime's uh, coming up pretty close, pretty soon. So, I want to ask you what you guys are branching on. In this case, this is a 70, 72, about less than I thought it was. Two-door hard top, so there's no post, but those windows roll down, that's completely open. 352 barrel car, so it's basically like a base cutlass, 72. It has air conditioning, all original one owner car, 37,000 miles. It has not been driven on the road since 2002, around the time when that car was new. Full taken care of. Brake and fuel system flush, asking price 10,000. Column shift auto. Again, the markets definitely uh, definitely go up on a lot of these cars. I mean, if it wasn't too long ago, we'd be able to pick one of these up for you know three, four, or five grand at the most, especially in this condition. You know, this guy's asking ten for this particular car. Maybe he's optimistic. Maybe he's he has a fair price. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think for a '72 base Cutlass with a 352 barrel in it. What do you think that car is worth? It looks pretty solid, especially for especially for an Ohio car. I mean, look at that. Check this out. Rat Rod 44. Small block Chevy in it. Uh, a little different. He's asking uh, 99 95 for this one. I love that. All these twin dual carbs. High rise intake. Bet valve covers. Speaking of this, we got a 71, 350 car. AC, power steering, power brakes, everything works. Tel telescopic wheel, which is a very popular option in these cars, 35,000 miles, 100% original, it says 15.5. I'll zoom out so you can take a better look at this car. We love these early C3 vets. 68 to 71, 72 are probably the best years I made these cars. After all, 72, 73, it kind of started fading out. But 71 is still a very, uh, very popular year for the C3 Corvette. And again, you get this, get into this one for 15.5. Well, that car not a whole lot of money. wheels, 25,000 are asking for it. Black interior, four speed. That's nice size. Charger, 80s Cadillac, new C3 right here. This one, low mileage, great condition, less than 14,000 miles, 15,000. This one's a 78. This has a, uh, a collector's edition, two-tone paint, silver over gray. It's a probably automatic. Automatic. Yep. Got the factory wheels on it still. Not a bad looking car. 
Let me find the price on it. This one, oh, 15000 that's right. So, yeah. Again, 25th anniversary edition Corvette. Then we got a second Gen Z. There's a few of these here today, actually. Well, Wills, five stars. Z28 clone. Hmm. Small block, 30 over. Eight grand. Well, well, on this one, I think he might be a little high. Well, in price, not, you know. And then we we'll check out this Grand Prix. I could say 62, 63. I like the older one, or the uh, newer one, right? That's a 73. It makes you see. No problem. So 62, 63 Grand Prix. Let's find out for sure. I used to know my Pontiacs like nobody's business. Yep, 63. 85,000 miles. Same lyrics as 68. 3894 barrel car. No air. Runs and drives. 10,750. Inside. Nice car. These are perfect cruisers. And this is something you buy and just ride around on Friday night with your, your girlfriend, your wife, get the kids to get some ice cream, that kind of deal. Nice cam in it. Seventy-five Grand Prix. You don't even see these at all anymore. Get the honeycomb wheels. Oh, no. This one's sixty-five hundred. One hundred eighty-five thousand miles. Eighty-six Grand Prix two plus two. These are super rare. These have that 305 Chevys, small block, four speed auto. They're it's one year only. It's an 86 2 plus 2. He's asking 3900 for it. I actually looked at this car earlier. These are actually really hard to find. They weren't fast at all. They're probably the slowest, you know, quote unquote performance G bodies of the 80s, but they uh, were a little different. They uh, borrowed that arrow back. Um, Hatch from the uh, Monte Carlo SS. Well, it's similar. It's not the exact same piece, obviously, because of the uh, more than spoiler. So it's obviously the same piece as Monte Carlo SS was, but this is very similar. And it was the idea was it's for a uh, NASCAR homology religion. So it's basically just made legal for NASCAR. So they sold the cards so they could make that aero cube legal for NASCAR. Interesting. Interesting vehicle. This one needs a lot of work. It's got 45,000 original miles on it. These are kind of neat. I've only for a few years. This is probably going to go 3 or 4. Yeah, 327, so it's a 5.3 auto. The ones to have in those are uh, 0506, because a 6 liter LS2. And you get the optional 6 speed. That's the one you want, it's 0502. Uh -huh. 63 Dodge 440. Check that out. Family hauler. So much potential in this thing. Check out the old school direct connection plate. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. What would you do with this car? If this was yours, what would you do with it? What motor would you put? Would you put a 426 Hemi, 440, six pack, late model Hemi? Tell me what you would do with this car if it was yours. Check out inside. It's got modern uh, seats and newer seats. It's got the push button, automatic trans. Uh, what else? Navigator, Lexus truck. Check out this TV. Hey, George. Hey, how you doing? Good job. What's new? Here we go. No, I'm okay. Let's put a 60 TV. Uh, no, I'm not yet. How you been? Check out that. Look at that steering wheel column. It actually turns away from you, so if you're getting out of the car, getting in it, it's actually easier to get in that way. And then you adjust it accordingly to when you actually uh, sit into your driving position. I'm going to go up there. I, I, very, very cool. Well. You don't see too many of these anymore either. Uh, no, I'm going to see that guy. I'm probably going to wait for the work time up here. We got another yeah, nice. You know? What else we got? Oh, very nice. Get to that in a second. Early Fox Body Mustang. Check this out. 80, 80 Fox Body Mustang. Here we go. 460 cubic inch. 8,000. Pick up the engine. Peek inside. 
Check that out. 85 liter. Wow. Well, no, it's actually, you know what, 80, they didn't have a 5 liter Mustang anymore. So these badges were added later. It's probably had a 302 at one time, but this is probably a factory turbo four cylinder car. Yep, now it's a 460. Really cool there. Twenty five hundred bucks right here. You can get into the four door sixty one quarter of air with thirty two thousand, thirty three thousand miles. Twenty five hundred bucks. Cool little cruiser. Check it out. You know, a lot of guys, uh, you know, start off as hot rodders and they actually have a family and have kids and, but you know, stuff like this, or even like a four door Cheval or Malibu or what have you. Be like a, a great alternative, at least for a summer cruiser, or, or if you live on the uh, the West Coast, obviously you drive all year round. But if you live on the East Coast, you could probably drive it uh, in the summer, spring and summer, and just enjoy uh, having an everyday, old school classic car. Here we go, 327 small block and pile up. Uh, perfect example right here, four door. This one is a 60, 8500 bucks, 327. I want to say it's a 65. I mean, Old Faithful, 327 small block. And we have another one, straight up project car. Two door hard top. This one's a 307. Open offer, so something like this you could probably pick up for next to nothing. You know what I mean? And just modify it the way you want. Be a restore, you could leave it. Leave it, leave a patina like that, clear coat over it, have a right round, throw some white walls on it, some hubcaps, call it done. Factory column shift so you can screw the hell out of this thing. Very cool. Little Nova. 350. If you're uh, yearning for your uh, training day kick, early G Bonnie Monte Carlo. The three three stroker in its small block. I believe wire wheels, right? Bureau. 86 Grand National. You saw this guy pulling earlier. Super, super clean car. 200, 200 car. Really nice. SST Dodge Rams, which pretty rare. We love these. Check this out. Early 70s Buick Opel GT. These are actually an Opel Opel GT from Europe, but they sold them at Buick dealerships. So there's some some confusion. People call them Buick. It's not really Buick. It's an Opel, but they sold them through Buick dealerships back in the day when they were new. A little bit of rot around the rear wells, rear wheel wells. I mean, these cars are tiny, but I mean. The sky's the limit with whatever you want to do with it. They can have a little track car, weekend cruiser, what have you. So, so that's the car for us. I was checking out the uh, check out the swap meet earlier. Some of the used parts that were available, but I uh, uh, golf cart. How you doing, buddy? But uh, yeah. I was checking out the spot meter earlier, there's a lot of stuff here. I mean, whether you want new or used parts, um, you need new sheet metal, new trim pieces. Um, there's guys selling new American Racing wheels, you know, factory replacements, you know, rally wheels, whatever you need. But, uh, yeah, definitely David Ed's all weekend long. Um, there's actually three events throughout the year. Um, they have another one in July, I believe, June or July. I'll double-check the dates. And there's another one in uh, a weekend during September, September 11th or 13th, I believe. But uh, we'll be back here again at Campfield Fairgrounds. On June 23rd, 24th, 25th, for the Steel Valley Super Nationals. So we'll actually have a, a booth out here set up too with our cars. But uh, until next time, I'll see you then. Bye bye.